Here are five tips from farrier Neil Bradbury for managing horses and ponies prone to laminitis. Restrict grazing and use high fiber, low starch, low sugar feeds. At the first sign of lameness, call the farrier and your vet. Look for the signs. Horses and ponies often stand on their heels to relieve pain. Confirm the attack by feeling for a strong pulse in the digital arteries at the back and side of the fetlock. Make use of painkillers from your vet and fit a frog support. If there is no change after two days, reassess and consider an x-ray. Chocky is a typical older pony who suffered a bout of laminitis last year and possibly the start of Cushing's disease. Her front hoof shows separation of the hoof wall from the lamini. As long as Chucky is shod, she remains sound and able to continue her job as a riding for the disabled pony. Feeding Blue Chip Lamylite, the diet feed balancer, offers ponies or horses that are prone to laminitis a greater chance of leading a sound and active life. One bag lasts a small pony almost three months. That's great value.